I was drafted and uh, I had two children. But uh, Montana having scarce population while well, we got to the fathers pretty early. I was thinking I tried to get in the Air Corps and take the test. So I went in the Army and I got in the infantry. But uh, the reason I didn't get to take the test was uh, I was 26 years old and I was 26 and a half. I went to basic training in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and uh, we had about, no, oh, several hundred people there. Well, we had uh, sleeping bags and we'd have to shake them out because uh, snakes like to get in there and where it's warm. And I didn't want to get in with a snake. Joe Salzberg, he was a Jewish kid, but he was very, very wonderful. We were telephone linemen and we spread battle lines from the headquarters company to the each A, B, C, D companies. And sometimes we'd get Sidewise, so we'd have a mortar shell come in and we'd both run. He'd go one way and I'd go the other. Then we'd creep back to see if he was still alive. One time we had to go on the line, we had to go through a minefield and uh, we had a, just captured a, a, not a, well, I mean a German army guy, but he was from Holland. And he says uh, he just got captured and they just put him in the army. So uh, he said, I set this minefield and I can take you through it. And so uh, the, the, the man there at the deal says, well, you and Joe want to go through it? And see, we said, yeah, we'll go through it. And we just stepped in his steps and followed him across this. And it saved us quite a few uh, deals, and then we strung wire, too. And uh, I got across that, and then I got a bronze star for it. We went across the river into Florence, and we had to carry our rifles up above our head to keep them getting wet, and things like that. I, I, I was in five battles, according to my discharge. Five major battles, they called them. To me, that was all one big major battle. <laughs> I was in Florence, Frienzi, they call it over there. We was going across the field one time, and one of those fellows up in the tree started shooting at us, and I had a small automatic, and I fanned the air with it, and he didn't shoot no more, so I guess I made it. The Germans, you know, when they had their machine guns, they would shoot about three feet above the ground because they wanted to disable you instead of kill you. And so, all you do when you heard the machine gun going was get down flat. And I had this telephone under me, it was about that thick, and boy, I'd be digging that out from under me. <laughs> One time I came back from the hospital, I was in the hospital because I had malaria, and uh, I just got back and I had a lot of mail. And they brought the mail in and I was starting to read it and the fellow says, Shoemaker, you and Joe got to get out and get the line so-and-so. And so I started to go, and the guy says, yeah, you, you stay there. He says, you read your mail, I'll go for you. And he went, and he got killed. And that was terrible. But we couldn't, we wrote to his wife quite a bit from then on. Because he, uh, he wasn't uh, exactly uh, a friend, but he was just one of the soldiers. And he says, you go ahead and read your mail. And he says, I'll go out for you. And then we had the, uh, Waters came in, and Joe got away, but we knew how to scap her. But this fellow evidently didn't, and he got his head blowed off, so he was in bad shape. And I had to go out and pick him up. I loved the Army because it, it, made, it just sort of made a man out of you. And uh, I liked uh, Joe awfully well. He was uh, Jewish, and he would get all those cookies and things from home for their holidays. And I enjoyed them. The war was ended and I was in the hospital then and I didn't know whether I'd get back to my outfit or not, but I did. And they sent us to Trieste to uh, save it because they was afraid that uh, the dictator from, from Hungary, what was his name? Tito, would come down there, but he didn't. 
And so then we were, we got going little castles there, see Houdini and places like that. 